Well, the cost of the credits is currently unknown, whether it's five cents a gallon or $1.50 per gallon, those costs will be passed on to our members and customers. Fuel oil delivery in Vermont is a competitive business, which keeps margins very thin and very little room to absorb new expenses. As more and more members and customers move towards clean heat solutions, the increased cost of delivery will be borne by the remaining fossil fuel users. Customers and members will be faced with a choice, pay more for fossil fuel or pay the upfront cost of transitioning to other fuels. Either choice will hit our customers' wallets. While we do not know how much S5 will add to a gallon of fuel oil, we do know how much transition into a cleaner technology costs. Upfront costs of heat pumps and weatherizing a home is, is a significant obstacle for our customers. Heat pumps can average anywhere between $5,000 and $20,000. Weatherization, weatherizing a home could be $6,500 to $15,000, and in some cases more, depending on the size of the home. Current rebates and tax incentives only cover a small portion of that upfront cost. Payback periods for the customers is very long, and disposable available income for these types of items are out of the reach of Vermont, most Vermont households. If these people aren't going to get weatherized, they're going to be paying more for their fossil. They're going to be paying their fossil fuels, and this bill will increase their costs beyond the normal market fluctuations. And they aren't going to be seeing the weatherization or the benefits of that. They're going to be subsidizing others to do that. Okay. Well, if you have any questions.